Hey everyone, welcome to Scrapbook Pals YouTube channel. It's Jeannie here with you today to share a card using Honeybee Stamps Treat Yourself and Coffee Stamp Sets. I'll be sharing a simple slimline scene card with you today. Out of all the images on the Honeybee Stamps Treat Yourself stamp set, I couldn't really decide and I wanted to use almost every single one of them. So the only way that I would be able to fit every single one of these images is to put it on a slimline card. Slimline cards are the rage right now and it's totally on trend. So I thought that I would share that as my first card for Scrapbook Pal. So I'm going to be taking those images and stamping it using Gina K Amalgam Ink in Obsidian Black. And I like to stamp all my images twice because I do like that really dark outline and I always like to stamp it twice just to make sure that everything stamps really well. For all my coloring today, I will be using Copic markers. And for all my Copic coloring, I like to start out with the darkest color, go in with a mid-tone to blend it out, and then go in with the lightest and finish it off. For my foamy whipped cream areas, I am using a cool gray, and I tend to leave a large part of the image white. So once all the colors are on there, and it's up against colorful background, it will look white even though it does look gray right now. I will have all the Copic colors that I use listed down below in case you're interested, but I do like to use the same combinations of Copic markers. I don't have every single Copic marker and I don't think you need it, but I do stick with specific colors. All my coloring is more or less the same. I go in with the darkest color, mid-tone color, and then the lightest color and blend it out. I am a paper turner, so anytime I'm coloring, I will turn around the paper so I can flick outwards or in the position that I am most comfortable with. I'm sorry that happens to be kind of annoying on film, but that is just how I color and I wanted you guys to see the full coloring. Like I said, this is my first video for Scrapbook Pal and I tend to do a lot of scene cards as well as interactive cards. So if there's anything you guys are interested in seeing, please leave a comment down below and I will try to incorporate it into my videos. I'm going to be doing a video on the channel once a month. Hopefully if you have any ideas or anything you would like to see just leave a comment and I'd love to take it into consideration to make cards that you guys are interested in seeing. A lot of my cards are color heavy so I will be sharing my coloring process because I know that a lot of people like the coloring and if you don't that's okay too. I usually will try to do a variety of different cards just so, you know, there's something for everyone. For most of my cards, I like to keep the same colors throughout a card. And for this particular card, because I wanted it to have a fall feel, I stuck with gold, orange, red, and brown tone colors, which I think really worked well and pulled this card together and gives you that fall vibe. So my favorite drink for fall is a salted caramel mocha at Starbucks and I know that a lot of people love the pumpkin spice lattes. I am not a fan but every year I will try it out and decide that I don't like it again but I will always give it a try because I find that a lot of the foods that I have learned to really like are ones that I didn't like at first and I just kept trying it until I liked it and I don't know if that's something that everyone does. I think it might just be me and I just tend to do that. So that's a weird quirk about me. For a lot of my coloring, I do do a flicking motion and it's just so I can blend everything out well. I try not to have too heavy of, a, I guess, a wall of color because you won't be able to blend it out. So with uneven flicks, you're able to blend out your colors a little bit better, especially because I use three colors and it kind of allows you to blend out the different colors. And so sometimes it doesn't work so well and I'll go in a couple of times just to blend everything out. But I do pick colors that are pretty close in the color family to each other and that helps create the blending and also creates the dimension for all my images. 
So I am almost done with the coloring. And like I said, I am sticking with all these kind of warm red, orange, yellow colors. And I really think that it gives you the fall vibes. So for this last cup, I actually went with it in between. It's kind of a prawn color, but more of a burnt orange. And sometimes you just need a darker color to create that dimension. So this cup is orange, but I ended up using an R24, which is a red color, but that adds the dimension, yet the cup still looks orange. So my slimline card panel measures at three and a half by eight and a half. I just took a ruler and drew a line and used a Copic friendly pen to outline that line. I'm taking a piece of painter's tape because that's all I have in my stash right now. I'm out of post-it masking paper, so I had to use that. I'm gonna go in and ink blend this area, which will be the table. So I pick walnut stain and I also pick gather twigs. So I'm just using the ink blending tool. This is on Bristol Smooth paper, so it makes it really easy to blend. For the top area, I went in with Wild Honey because I wanted to stick with the fall theme and I thought that the yellow would be not so intrusive to the entire card and I thought that it wouldn't clash with a lot of the cups or anything like that. So once I have everything ready for the background, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my images and decide where I want everything to sit. I'll be using the coffee sentiment set that has this really large coffee sentiment. Once I decide which sentiments I wanna use for this card and which would fit very well, I will go ahead and stamp the smaller sentiments on black cardstock using Versamark ink and with Gina K's white detailed embossing powder. I'll add it to the sentiment and then I will be heat setting it. So I'm just going to be trimming down the smaller sentiments with my guillotine and I have it ready to add to my card. So I wanted to glue down all the little drinks onto my slimline card panel before I added the large coffee sentiment. So I'm using the Honey Bee Precision glue which i really like because it's actually a lot bigger than most of the glue tubes that i've seen so i'll have all the supplies that i'm using for this particular card linked down below but i think i'm going to really like this because i find the smaller glue tubes run out really quick because i do like using liquid adhesive for my card panels and I like this one because it's almost double the size i think i checked the ounces on it and it is a lot larger so once I have everything in place, I wanna make sure that I have room for the smaller sentiments. I'm placing it in my Misty and going to stamp the coffee sentiment directly onto my card panel. And I sometimes get impatient with adding the sentiment. So I'll go in a couple of times just to get a really dark, bold sentiment stamped. Once I finish that, I'm gonna use my tea ruler and add the smaller sentiments that were heat embossed on the black cardstock and place it right next to the coffee. So now this says time for a coffee date, which I think is really cool and it really filled up the space. I really like how this card turned out and I think it definitely has fall vibes and I can include a coffee gift card and send this off to my friend. I thought that it looked a little weird with all the cups floating on the table. So I just went in with yellow red color and added a shadow right underneath so it didn't look like it was just floating in the air. And it actually looks like these coffee cups and pumpkin pie is sitting on a table. And once I do that, my card is done. And that is it for today's card. I hope you enjoyed this card and will subscribe to the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this card and I will see you guys next time. Bye.